Welcome back to the walkthrough. I don't know where to go next, so I'm going to talk to the light bubble. Yeah, I kind of forgot where I left off last time. It's been like four days since I last uh, made some parts, and I'm supposed to go to the casino. Okay, at, uh, well, I could have swore I could go down to the casino that way. I, I guess I'm wrong about that, but whatever. So I guess going down to the casino is what I shall do and see what's up. Uh oh, oh my God, it's Amy. Oh God, the cooties! It's Sonic CD all over again. Oh, now it's Sonic 3D Blast. Oh, crappers! Crap, it's a trap! Well, anyway, I can now play as Amy. Um, I should now be able to go to Twinkle Park. Whoa, well, hey, what the heck is that? Why can't I go up that door? I should be able to go up that door. Uh, what's this way? I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Another way to the casino. Oh, wait, oh, what the heck? Oh, whatever. I could have swore I... Oh, the other way to the casino is through the train station. That's where it was, not down there. Anyway, now go to Twinkle Park. This is where I thought I was going to go to. Now a little cutscene will happen. What the heck is that? So was that line? Whoa. Oh my goodness! Oh, now what? Is she caught? Huh? Oh, oh, never mind. Look here. It says, free. Oh, poopers! No. I feel like I'm being roped into this. Ah, oh, no! Oh, man. That girl is such a no kidding. Alright, next stage is Twinkle Park. Uh, this one has some tricky parts in it, especially the beginning, actually. Um, so, hopefully I'll be able to cover this as good as I possibly can. This is stage 5. Let's get this going. It's, by the way, that's a loading screen, too, but, it, but it's kind of disguised okay. Anyway, um, you'll see at the beginning here, there's a bunch of cars. Depending on which color you get, um, the, the, depends on, I mean, it gives you different speed, like, the blue one is the fastest, so I'm just going to take that one for a challenge, just for the fun of it, and now I'll be able to go through this door here. That counter on the back of the car is actually a ring counter. Well, anyway, uh, the, the more you ring, the more rings you get, the faster you go. It's sort of like the bananas in Diddy Kong Racing, if you've ever played that game before. Uh, only you're not limited to just 10. You can get as many as you want. And you'll uh, get your uh, a nice amount of speed there. Uh, so I got 43 rings. I'm really flying here, baby. Woo! Speed boost for the win. Um, it, for e for an easier run on this course, you probably want to take uh, a slower car, like the gray one. If I'm not mistaken, the gray one is the slowest. Uh, all these, all the cars can make the. Uh, can do the track just just as well as the next, despite their speed differences. Um, so you won't, won't have to worry about not making any jumps or anything like that. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, control, I guess. Woo! Man, this is a dangerous amusement park. There's no seat belts. You just fly around in bumper cars, hitting other bumper cars while you're flying in space. That seems kind of dangerous, if you ask me. By the way, if you fall out into space, it's death. Down is death. You should know that by now. And that is the end. Let's go down. And I'm in a roller coaster! Woo! Go, Sonic, go! And there appears to be rockets with sparks on the, attached to the sides of there. That seems kind of dangerous to the people in back. I would think the sparks will get in their eyes and mess up their contacts or something like that. Well, anyway, now we're inside the main por portion of Twinkle Park. Um, whenever you are in this thing, aim yourself towards the bowling pins. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> and try and get a strike. Uh, if you get a strike, you'll get a lot of rings from this little prize here. Uh, evidently, rings are money uh, in the Sonic world, just like uh, coins are from Mario or something. I don't know. At least that's what it seemed like. And man, I'm terrible at aiming that thing. Ah. Well, anyway, you don't have to uh, 
uh, get strikes anyway to pass the stage. Just keep following this path around. And uh, over here is some bumpers that will take you all the way to the roof. This amusement park is getting more and more dangerous by the second. I mean, seriously. There's spikes, there's monkeys throwing bombs. We're climbing on the roof, which is part of the main attraction, evidently. And uh, use your uh, homing attack to jump from one rooftop to the next. And just get... Uh, uh, go careful. Ah, oh, poopers. Now I have to climb back up. I was going to say climb up there as carefully as you possibly can. But I kind of failed at that. Oh wait, this is the path that I'm supposed to take anyway, eventually. So I guess I'm not too far behind. But the other path is a bit faster. Uh, checkpoints right here. There's a uh, spring right there. And jump. Yep. Do not fall. It is scary. If there's a there's a switch up here which will make rings appear around. Let me up there. Re which will make rings appear around the perimeter. Uh, you can light speed dash across them woo, for a little speed boost, but I don't think that's much faster than just running around the perimeter yourself. Uh, so I guess the rings are more of a bonus than anything. And way up to the top of the tower, and it's Peach's Castle. And that is the end of the stage. Yeah, that was really it. it the stage goes by pretty quickly if you know what you're doing. I remember taking like 10 minutes the first time I did this stage, Now I can do it under 4 consistently. And as I said, I haven't played this game before, so I've gotten much better times than this. Yeah, and, I, and I'm just being blown up all over the place by those monkeys. Holy poopers! Sonic is amazing! Back to Station Square, evidently, and, and I think we lost that robot, or at least I hope. Oh, shoot. oh no! Wait, it's not. It's I'm not back to Station Square just yet. There's I a little. That robot butt after there's her. a little mini game to do here. I better catch her before it does. Uh, Twinkle Circuit. This is it. Uh, depending on which character you use, differs the uh, which whichever car you get, uh, or I should say, it changes whatever car you get. So I got Sonic. I got the blue car. I got the fastest one. And uh. This is just a mini game, as I said. Uh, I believe you can get a, a boost right there at the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though, by timing it right. I forgot the timing of it, though. But whatever, I just hit the wall. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, the, the object is, get, is to get the fastest time. It's just, uh, it's kind of like a shallow version of Mario Kart, so to speak. And uh, when you got a faster car, you have to kind of release the accelerator on those 90 degree turns so you're able to make them. Um, you gotta kind of slide off the wall so you don't lose speed like I just did right there. That was just full of fail all over the place, but whatever. So, there, there's evidently three laps here, as you can see by that thing at the upper right corner there. Yeah, who would have guessed? Three laps in a racing game? That's like never been done before. So, uh, I was evidently three minutes and eleven seconds faster than the first lap time. Holy cow, the person who did this race must have been like... A horribly trained monkey or something. I mean, what the heck? The monkey obviously could not do this race whatsoever. And I'm hitting walls all over the place. And I usually do fairly well at this. Or I should say I did fairly well at this when I used to play. I'm, I'm sure there's people that have gotten faster times than me. Um, but I never really did, like, time trials, like, religiously. Like, I did them all the time. Like, the people who got better times. I'm sure there's, like better scores at the Sonic Center or something like that. I think the Sonic Center is the website that that uh, keeps track of Sonic game world records and stuff like that. The Sonic Center, Center.org or something like that. Uh, pretty interesting site to look at to see what see the amazing times people get. I recommend that you check that out sometime. And, whee! and I'm sure that they keep track of Sonic Adventure and every single Sonic games this times. Uh, you for the higher rank times, you have to prove uh, your times with a video or something like that. But for the lower ones, I'm pretty sure they just let them pass, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but for, like, world record times, you need that video. So, that's what you got YouTube for, I guess. But anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about other websites other than YouTube. It just came to mind, I guess. It's just my randomness, I suppose. And that is the end of the stage. Well, I should say the end of the Twinkle Circuit. I just thought I'd show you that minigame. That was completely optional, by the way. Though you do get an emblem for doing it. Uh, if you press continue, you'll have to do the race again. So just go to quit. Dang you, loading screens. Dang you. And 
now you want to go back to Station Square, which is this way. Yeah, you have to go against the grain of the arrows. And uh, a thing will pop up right over here. If you grab that, it's in the grass right... Hey, camera, you. It's right here. And what the... Oh, hey, let me grab B button. Thank you. I can use it to get into this building, this mysterious building that's been locked, but I forgot to mention all along. Oh my goodness, it worked! Let's go to the next level, which is this elevator right here, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I, I hope I have enough time to do this in this part. If not, I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs> this is Speed Highway. Hopefully I'll be able to get this done in under three or four minutes, I think. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, it's about four minutes. I think I can do it. I think, I hope, maybe. Uh, it's Speed Highway, after all. So, let's just take this path here. You can uh, take a little shortcut, or I should say go a little faster, just by going along that rail there, which I'm just kind of... Uh, oh, shoot, I wanted to run, run up the wall, dang it. Uh, taking the higher route up that wall would uh, also be a shortcut. Um, you could bounce up there by using those police cars. Ah, by going a little bit faster using those police cars, but I'm not going to do that. It's kind of tricky to execute, and I think I'll waste more time doing that. But then again, I wasted time anyway. Try not to run up the wall. You'll waste more time here, because you can go a 360 around the ceiling like that. But I find it actually slows you down more than anything. Who's the cross? Woo! What the heck is that thing anyway? Who builds these highways? How is this supposed to even come close to uh, managing the cars around here? I have no idea. How do the cars even stay on those things? I don't know. But one thing's for sure, this is the most dangerous highway in history. Do not drive down this highway, kids. Or I should say teens. And grab onto the helicopter. Any car, I guess, would have to climb onto this helicopter and get whisked across the rooftops. Or at least I would guess. That's just how things seem to go on, on this area. I don't know. So anyway, now you're going sideways and in this side kind of loop de doop thingy here. And woo! if you land on this platform, you can take a shortcut across here. I believe this is just a bit... Oh, shoot! 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 Ah, uh, no police cars. Bad police cars. Now grab onto this thing. But anyway, I could have taken a shortcut. Anyway, but oh well. Now we're running down the side of the building! Holy poopers, it's action fill like, o'clock all over the place. And try and jump over these barriers, even though they don't hurt you at all. But the helicopters do hurt you, and they knock the rings out of you, and they're smashing through the glass. You don't take damage from the glass whatsoever, despite its sharpness. Try and go to between the pillars, ow, if you can. Yes, you can actually squeeze yourself between those tiny pillars. Or I should say those tiny openings between the pillars and go inside the building. Which is actually not inside the building at all, but uh, it seems to be some sort of alleyway. You can take a shortcut by going up through the, this rooftop here and go along this way. Ah, avoid the cars. The cars do hurt you in this area, especially the police cars, but they aim for you. I don't know why they're aiming for you, though. I mean, for the love of God, I'm not really going any fa well, I guess I'm going faster than the car, so I guess I am breaking the speed limit in some way. Splash your way up here using the fountain. Hit this bell if you want to for some rings. I don't know why, but they put the capsule here as the ending, and that does it for Speed Highway. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you later.